Hi, Aiden here. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about using the YouTube One Channel. And the reason I've filmed this video is because you, YouTube have just announced that the One Channel is going to be compulsory um, from the start of June. So it makes sense that if we're not already using the One Channel, that we switch over to it. Now, I've demonstrated how um, to set up a YouTube channel like this. This is the classic YouTube channel. I'm going to show you in a second how you can actually upgrade from this channel to the One Channel. And I'm also going to walk you through um, setting up the One Channel from scratch. If you if you if you haven't got a YouTube channel at all, then I'm going to walk you through uh, from complete zero how you go about setting that up. So this here is the classic um, YouTube channel, and I've shown you how we've set that up. And this here is an example of the One Channel, and I've set it up for my internet marketing um, website, AidenBooth.com. And as we can see, one of the main differences is that we've no longer got control of the sidebars. What we can see here is I've got a customized header image, which I can control. Um, and uh, the One Channel changes its size um, depending on the size of your screen. So if I make my screen bigger, you'll notice this here is changing. So you'll see that's getting stretched out depending on my, my screen size. Um, so this here is, is basically the, the core component, the core section, um, and the main difference in the One Channel. Now, with the One Channel, you can have a default video which will actually start playing for a non-subscriber. Um, so that's pretty cool. The about section is very similar to what we previously have over here in the sidebar. So this basically becomes a special um, section called the about section. Um, these links here, uh, a good thing, a good addition to the new one channel is that these links can appear in here. So they're kind of in a more prominent place. We can see them all the time. Um, and we can also have a link to your website on the about page as well. So there's some of the main um, differences. The What I want to do now is show you basically from scratch how you go about setting up um, a YouTube channel um, that uses the One Channel. And to do this, I've logged into another email account which I've got, which is page1evolution at gmail.com. Um, it's not really an account that I really use for anything, but um, you know it makes makes sense to use that as a demonstration for this video. So I'm going to come to my channel here, and as you'll see, um, this is the very first time I've set this this up. So um, it says use YouTube as I can choose to use it as Aiden Booth, which is set up in my profile, or I can edit that. So I'm going to click the edit button here. Actually, I won't do that. I'm just going to click OK for now. And we'll set that up in just a second. So as you can see, this has gone by default to the old uh, YouTube channel. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to jump over to the One Channel. And I'm going to click Get the New Design. And uh, I'm now using my... I've got the new design, okay? So um, I've used that. Now, the first thing that I'll, I would need to do is use an avatar image and upload some channel art because if I choose to view this as a public at the moment this is what it would look like it doesn't look very flash it doesn't look very interesting um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload um, an image here and I'm gonna upload a background as well so I'll click on here to add channel art and the background that I'm gonna upload here is just the same as the one that I'm using um, in my internet marketing, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this one here just so that you can see how how it all works. Okay, so I'll select the photo from my computer, and that's gonna be the background image. That has to be um, it doesn't have to be, but the recommended size is two thousand five hundred and sixty by one thousand four hundred and forty. I'm gonna give you some more information about this um, as well. So I'm just gonna select the background that I want to use. In this case, it's this one here and I'll select choose and that'll get uploaded and then we'll get a preview of what that will look like um, on a TV, on a computer and on a tablet um, and I think on a phone as well, smartphone as well so we should get a little preview now here we've got the, the desktop, we've got what it would look like on a TV and we've got what it would look like on a mobile phone so that's just fine, I'm going to click select 
and uh, now we've got some um, background um, image in there okay the next thing I can do is click this here and click that edit links button and what we're going to do now is put in some links um, to the website okay so I can click this one here and this can be an overlay link so I can put in um, the link title can be page one evolution and I can put the URL in there okay and then social links I can put that in if I had a Facebook page I could do that as well just for this example I'll put my own Facebook page um, I could add if I had a, a Twitter account, I could add that. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can add and add in there. Okay, so let's see. That looks fine. So I'll click done. Now, um, if I just head back over, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Okay, so we can see I've now got a link there to the Page One Evolution website. I've got a Google Plus and a Facebook image. Okay. Um, the next thing I can do is add a channel description. So I can just type in channel description goes here. And uh, what you'd want to do in this description is add a bunch of information, a bit of information. Let me give you an example. This is what I've done on um, on the on my internet marketing YouTube channel. So I'll just copy that for now, and I'll delete this later so that I don't have duplicate content. But um, one of the key things is at the bottom of this description, it says click the link below for more information, and I can click done. Because what that'll do is um, it'll automatically have this link here below it. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I can do is change my avatar and one of the the neat things about YouTube is that there's lots and lots of different ways that you can actually go about um, you know editing your YouTube page so here if I hover over this you'll notice that this little edit button automatically pops up so I can click on that and um, I'm actually just gonna click cancel because at the moment, this is linked up to my Google Plus account. So if I want to add um, an avatar in there and I don't actually want it to be linked up to my Google Plus account, what I can do is I can come into the settings, go to the YouTube settings option, and uh, this here is where we can change the, the information. Okay, So I would want to click this, change to a business or other name and disconnect Google Plus profile. Okay, And then I'll just put in here page one evolution. That could be my um, that can be my my new username, Page One Evolution. Click OK. It says someone else is already using it, so I could say Page One Evolution videos. Actually, that's too long. Page One Evolution demo. Okay, and I can click this. Now, because I've disconnected that from my Google Plus account, I can click this change icon here, and I could actually upload um, some image. Okay, so you know I could upload this one, for example. Click Save Changes, and it says Internet Marketing with Aiden Booth. So if I come back over to my channel now, we can take a look at what that looks like. We've got. Now we've got the avatar appearing in there, we've got my background image, we've got um, a call to action on here, visit aidenbooth.com for free tips and advice, that's a really good um, idea to have something like that. Um, and if I had a video appearing here already, I could actually make that uh, the default welcome video, but I don't have that, so I can't actually go ahead um, and set that up just yet. Now YouTube are going to keep making... Um, are going to keep making modifications and changes to the way that you edit a YouTube channel. So it might not be exactly like this all the time, but if you just um, you know um, play around with it, you will usually be able to work out how to edit uh, most parts of your YouTube channel. So another thing that you can actually change here is the name that you set up for 
um, you know, for the title of your channel. And to do that, you come in here, click this little button, and go to the channel section, settings. Um, if you then come into advanced, um, you can choose a country. So I might want to change that to um, New Zealand or United States or, or something like that. So I'll change that to the United States. And I can click this change here and I can say page one evolution, um, demonstration, YouTube channel. Okay. Um, I could also put in keywords in here. For example, um, and uh, you know, then I could just click the save button, and when I do that, you'll notice that if I come back over to have a look at my channel, I've now got that title in there, and I'll, I'll also have um, the keywords in the background as well. So that's another way that you can optimize your channel. So that finishes off this video. I just wanted to give you an overview of how you set up the YouTube One channel from scratch in case you've never set up a, a YouTube channel before. The next video is going to show you how you can change over an existing channel to the new YouTube One channel.